Hi, this is Matthew Robert Payne. Welcome to my channel. Um, today I um, uh, have just prepared uh, a little Facebook post and I'm going to read the Facebook post and it's going to be a teaching based on a passage of scripture I've been meditating on for 20 years. I've been focusing on this scripture among other scriptures for 20 years. For 20 years, I haven't regularly uh, read the Bible because I was abused by religion. But uh, there's many verses in the Bible that I've been contemplating as plumbing the depths of uh, for 15 and 20 years. And uh, this verse that's quoted in this teaching uh, today is something I've been meditating and achieving in my life. The title of the video is called The Simple Key to Embodying the Perfection of Christ. And uh, the article says, the Facebook post says, Jesus does not demand that you achieve a state of perfection on your own, for he has already accomplished this through his own life and sacrifice. Instead, he calls you to yield to the transformative power of his Holy Spirit, which he has generously bestowed upon you. By surrendering to this divine pre presence, you invite the Holy Spirit to guide and empower you, much like a vessel that allows a greater force to direct its course. Consider this, just as a medium or a witch is overtaken by a spirit to manifest its influence, so can you be fully possessed and led by the Holy Spirit who brings forth the perfection of Christ within you. The victory over sin and imperfection has already been achieved through Jesus and the ideal living a Christ-like life was viv vividly demonstrated by the early apostles, John, Paul, and James. The apostle John eludicates this in his first epistle, 1 John 2, 3 to 6, in the New King James Version says, Now by this we know that we know him, if we keep his command commandments. He who says, I know him, and does not keep his commandments is a liar, and the truth is not in him. But whoever keeps his word, truly the love of God is perfected in him. By this we know that we, we are in him. He who says he abides in him ought himself also to, also to walk just as he walked. From this passage we understand that to manifest perfect love, we must align ourselves with the teachings of Jesus and integrate them into our daily lives. It is through the understanding and practice of his commandments that we grow into a love that mirrors his own, a love that embodies his presence. As you immerse yourself in his teachings and allow the Holy Spirit to work through you, you will gradually reflect the character of Christ in your actions. This process is neither complex nor burdensome. It is a journey of surrender and alignment with the divine grace. Embrace the divine potential within you and allow the Holy Spirit to lead you toward a life that embodies the love and perfection of Jesus himself. Well, I pray that that was encouraging um, and the text of what was just read by me uh, will be found down in the description tag. I want to encourage you that uh, when you meditate on a scripture for 20 years, you, you uh, get the meaning out of the scripture and you get very deep understanding. But the process of meditating a scripture actually makes it manifest. I've had a couple of people uh, in my life say to me that I'm the nicest person I've ever met in my life. I have people ask me questions 
how do I have such wisdom? How do I teach with such authority? Uh, these are just aspects of the Jesus, the Christos, the Spirit of Christ within me. Everyone wants to be God. Everyone wants a God in their life. Everyone wants to be powerful and, and empowered. And everyone in the Christian church has got the power and perfection and the Holy Spirit within them. And they've got the keys. They've got the keys to living a perfected life in the commandments, the parables and the commandments of Jesus Christ. But the Christian church uh, do not seek understanding of the teachings of Jesus. They don't understand that Jesus had 50 commandments. They profess to follow Jesus. They profess to know Jesus. The Apostle John says, if you don't know and practice the commandments, you're a liar and the truth is not in you. There's, there's a popular teaching, uh, there's a popular uh, cliche that's said in Christian circles, the truth, and you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. And uh, the, the proper understanding of that is, uh, the common understanding of that is, if you accept Jesus into your life and believe Christ is the Messiah, Christ is the Son of God and the Saviour of the world, then you have the truth and that knowledge will set you free. But that's not what the verse says in context. It says, if you abide in my word, then you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. Once again, the word abide is used there. And abide isn't spiritual intimacy with Jesus Uh but it can mean that abide is practically obeying the teachings of Jesus. So when it says, if you abide in my word, it's actually saying, if you understand the parables of Jesus and the commands of Jesus, and you live a life that aligns itself to those teachings, then that will set you free. So, 95% of Christians I know don't know that Jesus had 50 commandments. And the Apostle John says very bravely there that if you say you know Jesus and you don't know his commandments, you're a liar and the truth is not in you. We have a whole Christian church professing to know the truth and living in truth, but not even having an understanding of the commandments they're meant to be abiding in to achieve that truth. I hope uh, this has been a gentle rebuke for you. I hope uh, some of the words that I've shared have surprised you. I welcome you liking this post. I uh, welcome your comments. I'll give a comment to everyone who wants to comment. God bless you and keep you, and I pray that uh, you can subscribe to my channel and listen to the wisdom of God flow forth. God bless.